Here we go. Okay, see if we can finish where we started. Back up, keep with me.
Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. Right, let's see if we can finish what we start, boys. Let's go. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in South America in the vibrant and colorful Brazilian beachside city of Rio de Janeiro. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Huskies of Rio de Janeiro. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So the Titans set to go. go to work for the first time. They'll be let out by a former most valuable player in the National Football League, the always dangerous Lamar Jackson. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And here we go. Let's keep they get the USC man, Elijah Vera Tucker. To throw is Jackson. And that one too wide and incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now it's Jackson. His throw in. Let's go. Time is crucial in any route thrown. But when you throw him out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you're accumulating the rest as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Second down in the yard. Gets a Go. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. And he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. Let's go. And then once you make the read, it's in the him up. And that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over a thousand yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. 
but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well and that's what they just did on that let's go they'll get this out to Barkley complete and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 giving back to back catches now that one for 16 and another first down back to throw pull that's going to be caught at the 10 yard line only a yard of the completion it's second and goal Again, he'll drop the throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Hey, let's go. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a full three Tina yards, tried that. and it brings up fourth down. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try from the right hash and this one just a chippy the kick by Elliott is good and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first so an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy but I think that they will take the early lead there's no doubt about it they will always take the early lead and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open but right now this is all about letting the offense just get settled in here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively and the first drive three and out second possession see if they can get a little momentum and oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go to work on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Play action. Now Jackson. Yeah, get this out to the flat for ETM. And they bring him to the ground just shot. You gotta you gotta attack. We can't be doing an arm tackle. Just the first quarter of a tackling gonna be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all off season about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a been different a story. Long night. Second and 11. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Now Jackson. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And he is going to lose yardage here. Let's go. That's how we tack from now on. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Corey Bohorquez to punt this thing away. job here on special teams this will be down inside the 10 at the eight yard line throwing on first down pull throw left side complete that's barnett call it a gain of six on the play and it'll be second down looking to throw Pool. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Out of the gun now on third down. Let's go. He out here. Across midfield. He's on his way. Let's go. Because now, once he caught it, 
didn't have anyone else in the vicinity to bring him down and he takes off and he kept going nice gutsy call even better execution so an early 10 nothing lead for him now as they kick it away and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They're forced to play catch up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC championship round. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That one complete. It's tanked down. field now it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive now it's Jackson that's great Douglas with it now he's got a out of bounds but before he puts it inside the 40 the image the third habit on first and ten let's go now we've got movement up front I think this is going to be on the Titans false start the full start backs him up five. First and 15. A shotgun snap and a give the ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there. Second down. Throwing is Jackson. And this That's is going to be incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to them when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And the Rio offense set to take over. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Pool. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. And they run the option here on first and 10. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Back to throw. Pull. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Work in the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. A big play there is they get the conversion on third and 13. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after Here we the go. Catch, Let's go. Then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They go play action here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And he's got this down to the 35. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter down. It's our home team with possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And that will bring up second down. Off the play fake. Pull. He finds his man complete. That's Let's go. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 17-yard line. They 
will stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23 yard line. Okay, okay. Get rid of it. He takes a sack. I'd rather take the sack than a turnover. Okay. Second down. Looking to throw. Pull. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Back to throw. Pool. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and one. A give running right. ETN busts through the tackle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Oh. Get up. Who's got it? Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Here comes third down at seven. Here's Jackson to throw. Hmm. He's taken in by his big tight end. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Jackson now. Incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, Jackson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first Whoa. down at the Shut him down at every, every, every turn. kick here is good and they will indeed get on the board here but still trailing it's now 13 to 3 so the third drives the charm they are on the board albeit with just a field goal yeah three points from three drives that's not going to win you a whole lot of football games hopefully the fact they're able to move the ball a little bit can wake up their offense from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20 and the real offense set to take over their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how the drivers are supposed to put six on the board. Well, that's a consolation prize. I go to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On first and ten, pull. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's Let's go. This is how we play. This is how we do play a football. Operating from the gun. Pull. 
He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Back to throw again. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 20-yard line. Looking to throw. Cool. And he's wrapped mm. up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Mm -hmm. DJ Reader. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. He's got exactly what you're looking for. The ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Operating from the gun. Pool. It fights him off. Flush to his right. And on the inside, the 25 now at the 24. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead stretches. 16 to 3 now. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for Let's him. Go. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, He's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Tennessee offense set to go again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative. Come on, Dee, we gotta, we gotta yeah, not let that happen. That wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now Jackson on first down. Under Let's pressure go. here and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Offside. Ethan. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides. Easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last Oh, come on. Down. You got to stop now, it. You can't allow it. going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Let's go. He tries to force it in and it's intercepted. It's Roger McCreary with a pick. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Throwing to start the drive. Pool. Going right side here, and that's complete. Here we go. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. Let's show them why we're the number one team in the league right now. Over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The kill here is complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, pool. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Second and 10. Throwing again. Pool. He's going to rifle one deep left. Let's go. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. As the first half is winding down. And the Huskies continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. They have 
really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Go. Elliot on for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Five plays there on that drive. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Jordan Love. Over 300 yards passing in the victory with a couple of touchdown passes as well. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional Round. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They got the lead, home crowd Here we go, let's them, keep going. Looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They make it even bigger plays in the passing game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And a Let's go. Run there, so he'll take this all the way down to the 35. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Here's a second and five. Operating from the gun. Cool. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Barnett. So no gain on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down. Cool. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half. 
just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Defense. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So now after the penalty, they'll try again here on third and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Too much on that. Too much on that. It's open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Jackson. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A uh, handoff running left is ETN, shedding the tackle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Now it's Jackson. Completes it to Douglas. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Oh, we got to we got to cover better than that. Dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him don't you hey, think come on, we got to get, get let's get another turnover every time he's dropped a pass yeah that's a big miss and he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line well short of the first down marker and yeah, that's good for a gain of six and that's going to make it fourth down and he missed it it's no good, good and this will remain a 23 point deficit Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Well, the Rio offense about to set up shop once again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Brings up second and 11. At the 30 out of the 
the gun. They'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw on third down. Pool. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. D.J. Reader able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Here's A.J. Cole now. And your boot is in the stratosphere. He hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is taken at the 23. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it'll be Titan football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. ETN up the middle. Here we go. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Now Jackson. Under pressure, and down he goes. They called the corner blitz, and Roger McCreary, he got in there and earned the sack. On now is the Titans punter. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Throwing on first down. Pool. That's good. It's Barnett, and he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's across the 40 for the extra yards to the 43. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the 43, it's second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. Here it's third and two. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he is caught. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They get nine out of that one. And as a result, the drive continues. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Second and nine. Back to throw. Pull. They'll get this out to Barkley. Complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Let's go. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 28. Let's get one more touchdown just for the, just for the boy. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Back to throw. Pool. He's got his two. The ball comes out. 
picked up. And the defense not able to get it. For, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And go. Touchdown from 10 yards out. And the Huskies are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. Let's go. else out there, bring your game. Fire, beware. Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway Let's go. contest. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. So seven yards from the first the as is. they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now it's Jackson. ETN bringing in another one. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. On now is the Titans punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fielded at the 20. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following the seven-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And it would appear good that, job, that first round by certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Third and eight. Operating from the gun. Pool. Go again. The field has got a man complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Third down and ten. And he's going to try and do this himself. And some the third down. Here as he'll take this across midfield. And down to the 47. Looking unstoppable right now. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, a run with Dallas. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Third down and, nine. 
And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, Goals. and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. As they say here in Rio, Ate Breve, we'll see you next time. Be right back. I am back.
So I like that. I like. Oh, you It's the AFC Championship game, and the road to a Super Bowl travels through Rio de Janeiro. It's the Bills and the reigning Super Bowl champs, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in South America in the vibrant and colorful Brazilian beachside city of Rio de Janeiro. Straight ahead, a class to the side of AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it should be a great one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Huskies of Rio de Janeiro. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Godden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. The winner here goes to the Super Bowl and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams, running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Throwing. Love. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann.
return there after a punt of 47. And out will come the offense as they take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first place sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk to his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun. Pool. That's caught. Allen Robinson. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. That's taken on the 25. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that, that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. All start. Offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Here's Love. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. For a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. On first and ten. Pool. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Looking to throw. Pool. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down. Back to throw. Pool. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to right quickly. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Third and four. Looking to throw. Pull. He's got this into the hands of Barkley coming across the field. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, pull, and this is incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. 
Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. He's continuing to be a big presence defensively. Remember last week, AFC Defensive Player of the Week, and a big pick right there. And when you pile up big numbers, it gets everyone's attention. But sometimes the number just needs to be, how many game-changing plays did you make? Did you take the ball away from the other team? He just did that, trying to win the award again this week. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try to find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. On third down, Love. Got an open man, it's Alave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Love will try with his legs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. Pierce now up the middle. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and five. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Love from the gun. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. This is a defensive game. We held them to a field goal. Oh, and now we got to answer back. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Nifty move. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Uh, it's been a long season, but he still looks fresh running the football. He knows his guys are one game away from the Super Bowl, so he's going to give it all he's got, and that's a heck of a run right there. Oh, my God, another interception. Struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Ball start. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Pierce on the counter. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
Love with it here, third and short yardage. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now a second and 10. Love this time is going to set up to throw it. Alave over the middle. Calling a gain of three on the play. Third and seven now. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. As they've got it as we resume action. Looking middle and that's complete. Ah, and he is more. We got to lock in. Down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Back to the ground with Pierce. Just by at the 15. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Love looking to throw it. I had a man there you go. Charles and now they add three more with the still one score to touch because one score game playing out so far you mentioned the early lead now they're expanding on it getting plays on both sides of the ball a winning recipe if they can keep this up now the real offense set to take over they are looking to make a bit of a 180 they are sputtering right now and frankly I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say all right guys we're gonna leave we go. through this patch we need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. That open man, we not doing like that little screen glass, that bubble screen. Back to throw. Pull. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. And now it looks like That's a good. timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Looking to throw. Here we go. Quick throw to Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Good Here's attempt. second and ten. Got the back half of the, the field. Now they'll run on the draw. That's a strong <laughs> running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 12 yards there and a first down. Here 
Waiting from the gun. Pull. Come on, you gotta catch that. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now they'll run on the draw. And they're going to get him down well short of the first. So he can point. only get this to about the 19. Give him two yards on that play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, trailing now. Six to three. So if you like field goals, you've come to the right spot. We've had three so far. But this is a football game, right? It is. How you like that one, huh? You like where I went with that? How about that one? I like it. Okay, but hey, let's face it. In this game right now, both defenses have responded well. They're trying to hold the line on this. You just wonder if anyone can break through with a touchdown and put some pressure on their opposition. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. To throw now. Here's Love. Oh, he had him. He was so. open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us? Because they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had. Thought they could exploit them. Unable to do so on that play. Now the Rio offense set to take over. And a methodical drive last time. But they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows. The setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here. But that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Off play action. Pull. And he's got the man on the end round. Complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there. A first down. He's had the interception rose in this one, Charles. At that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. Well, he's going to look downfield for Barkley. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsecessfully. Now it's from go. the here is complete. There you go. Just shy of the 40. Second catch in this AFC <laughs> title game, and he's got a first down. They'll look to throw again. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Pull. Throwing right Let's go. Complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets 
gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Operating from the gun, pull. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And now they're inside okay, let's the tie the brought down at the nine. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left half should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will tie things up at 6-6. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. We got a hold. Get the ball back. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Love now. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Let's go. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Now the Rio offense set to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Come on, we got to get in the field already. Right. Try again with the arm here on second down. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Oh. oh. Whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Oh, first and. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced Automatic error. First Stay first. alert. Don't jump early and give them free yardage. Good work that time to get him to jump. And now here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Pool. Throw left side complete. That's Greer. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He finds his man complete. That's Barnett. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. After the incompletion here now, third and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's complete to Robinson. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, one half remains in the battle to see who will take home that Lamar Hunt trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half and the right to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl as I'm privileged to hand things back over to Brandon God. Okay, we coach, thought this one would be a always, close battle coming in, still and we have not been disappointed. We They're all even to this point. Number three. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big and play could turn out with a to be the difference. So this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted all tied. This is what postseason football is all about. It certainly is. And doesn't it speak to the parity in the NFL? Roughly half the teams that made the playoffs a year before miss the next year, get replaced. Thank you, parents. Let's go. Any given Sunday mentality, nothing's easy in the NFL. But when you have your shot, they're eager to seize it. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. False start, offense. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw, pull. Hey, Mags, let's go. He gets only about a yard, and let's listen in on the call. So that'll change things a bit. 15 yards added on. Going to put him on the other side of midfield. And add on a shake in the head defensively because he got caught where his hand wasn't supposed to be. And that cost him 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They try to set up the bubble screen here. It's complete. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's going to get it down to the 33. Go. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and 10. Back to throw. Pull. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Operating from the gun. Pull. Oh, come on, you can't, you can't be dropping your passes. Back to throw again. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. So the big return had him fired up. But in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return. But they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. 
And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling well, this is the most defensive game you've ever had to play. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Jordan Love ready on first down here. In trouble, and he's taken down. Malcolm Kuntz just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Well, the Rio offense about to set up shop once again. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down. Pull. Come on, we got to drop. He's dropping way too many passes. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him... He's got second and third down to fall back on. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Pull. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they'll get to this and down it inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Well, they had the run for no right, game. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Throwing. Love. Get him. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. The Bills send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Well, the Rio offense about to set up shop once again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull 
out here. A little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Nice, bro. Go. Puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone good scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception go. in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe enough. some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On the left side, it's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Now they'll run on the draw. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 63 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looking to throw on second down. Poole, he finds his man, complete. It's Barnett. That'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Now they'll run on the ball. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. AFC Championship tilt. Third quarter of play. This is second and ten. Man. Robinson and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 he got caught, hit with the holding call come on now now they face a second and long following the holding penalty operating from the gun pool firing quickly here and that's complete it's a nice let's go on the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12 Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That was a crazy uh, tilt drill. His ability to fit that one in, I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. The kick by Elliott is good. And they double their lead, pushing it up now to 12 to 6. So his second field goal now here in this third quarter. The first one got up the lead, and this one adds to it, but by no means is this one locked down. This is very much anyone's game. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. I know. The team's patient to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Quinnen Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. On second down, here's Pierce. Here we go. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. Call it a pickup of seven on the ground. That trims it to a third and 15 situation. Now Love. Oh, Let's go. Complete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions. 
to him in this game. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Rio offense set to take over. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're Ooh. exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw again. Pool. Oh my goodness. This going to be incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play. Got a man open. Back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. No, I'm thinking about the mental focus. You know? Yeah. On the mental focus. Yeah, I'm that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Yeah, that's a 48-yard punt with the coverage holding him to three on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Second and nine now from the 21. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Love now on second down. Drives the left side and finds Alave. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Now, oh, come on. It's relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now a handoff for Pierce. Well, we can't allow that. A couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Find a nice pick up there to keep this drive going. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 60 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It in and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. A run for Pierce out of the gun. Oh, able to avoid him. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal. There's some good running there. Gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. Oh, they're about, to take, they're about to take the game over. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Pierce is in. Touchdown, Bills. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run.
Will Lutz on for the point after. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Damian Pierce closing things out with a touchdown run. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now the Rio offense set to take over. And what a oh my pressure goodness. spot for both sides, really. But they're at home now. They have the football here in the playoffs, sort of controlling their own destiny. This is spot the world dreamed of. This is where you want to be. Home have the ball a chance to win the game control your own destiny as you noted but here's the thing don't let the crowd get too involved if you're this team now you've got to make sure you let them carry you but not cause you to do things let's go what you're supposed to do right take you away from focusing and concentrating on the game because sometimes you get so amped from the crowd that that can carry you in the spot you don't want to be in so you're saying from experience sometimes that crowd gets so involved in it and you get involved with them that you end up making plays or trying to do things that maybe you should have done so first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. He yeah. takes this for about six down inside the 40. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down, here's the option. And now he lost the football. Woo! The recovery. Recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. From the 32 now. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Pool. Quick hitter here. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain. Second and two. From the 24 now. Here's second and two. And they'll try to run the option here. And he'll be down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. On first and 10, pull. He dropped it again. But it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again, pull. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Back to throw. Pool. Oof. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner Keep running. We got a good, got a good chance shut. to do something. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And oh, come on. Catch the ball. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Looking to throw. Pool. Oh my god. All these drop passes. What's good, Arth? How are you? Unsuccessful pass on third down, but at least you got three points here in your hip pocket. Yeah, and I would take it from my hip pocket and put it right on the shoe of my kicker and go get those three points. This isn't even a discussion to make. This is a chance to take the lead after a good drive. Do it. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. <laughs> Defense. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. Love. 
He completes this one to Mingo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, love to pass. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks. Let's go. 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Love. There you go. Find his man on the outside. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. And the Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And the Rio offense set to take over. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. You studying for your uh, cybersecurity or no? Or are you just chilling today? And manage that small lead. They'll try to run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Thank you. So they'll be left with only the two minute warning to stop it from here on out. No, a nifty juke there. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's our home team here in possession of the Woo! ball as we come. We got lucky. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. I feel you. I feel you. Third you think you got it? You think you understand the material that they're putting on? They have you doing? They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. Okay, I feel you. And all that hard work has paid off. They're AFC champions, and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, all that hard work, all that sweating, all that effort, all those times you're getting yelled at by your coach, and now you get to go to the Super Bowl. Put your hats on, guys, and say AFC champs. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.
I am back. That was a tough game. We went we won that with no um with no touchdowns at all. But we in the Super Bowl. All we gotta do is finish. Finish the job. I look into it, but it seems it's not like it doesn't seem like a game that I could play for long periods of time. You also liked, uh, look how long you also played um, on Beyond. You just built different. That's what I'm saying, you built different. I couldn't do it. Let's go. We got NFL MVP. Oh, I was the runner up for the coach of the year. We got the offensive player of the year. We got the defensive player of the year. Oh, we didn't get the best rookie. Cool, that's cool. Ah, oh, we didn't get none of the rookies. We got the best quarterback, though. We didn't get the best running back. We got the best wide receiver. Let's go. Ah, uh, we didn't get all offensive line. We got defensive line though. Get linebacker or DB. We was close. We was number two. Close. We was two, three, and four. Crazy. Oh, we didn't get the best kicker. Ah, oh, come on. You're right, but I, I already found that game is Black Desert. I'm just waiting for my character to get released. Yeah, Stroud is...
All right, let's do this. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Huskies and the Commanders, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champions. Taking on the NFC champions, the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. All right, here we go. Last game of the season. Let's go. The long NFL season down to this. One game to decide it all. Super Bowl 61 underway. And we will not have a return. So the first drive of the Super Bowl will begin at the 25. So here are the commanders making their way out. And a look here now at their fourth year quarterback. As we begin the Super Bowl, yeah, that was cooking this year. He's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments. Ooh, of nice. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there. He stays level headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. As you can see, they're not operating at full health today, partner. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, their record is solid, and you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. What they have shown us throughout this season is... Stroud is hit. Let's go. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, pull. And he finds Howard complete. And down Let's the go. Taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Back to throw. Pull. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk right, about. Slow it down, slow it down. Eyes, you can read his hands, I know we want to jump on him, but slow it down. It's not be nothing crazy. And make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Ah. And this is going to be incomplete. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And they got points out of here. Nothing here in the first. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. Starting the drive with Algier. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Here's Stroud. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. Oh, my goodness. He got a tackle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 35. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. First and ten, it's Algier. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll stick with Algier. That's a strong running. Come on, we got to tackle. We got to tackle. We can't allow this. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Here we go. It's pain. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. Come on, why are we giving him so much space? And inside the 20 before he's brought down. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. Got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Man down the field. Something we're seeing more of with a rise of the run pass option. A legal man downfield, and that's going to back him up. Stroud off the play fake. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. So the pitch and catch good for 11, and that'll bring up second down. Algier now up the middle. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. They'll run here with Algier. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the 5 to the 3. So the ball position now at the 3, here's second and goal. Bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. They'll try to run this one in. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the wall. Oh, then. Back him up. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Stroud completes this out wide. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. <laughs> now Stroud. I can doubt it. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. From six yards away. And the commanders have This is the last game, and then I can, I can hop on and we can play some. Did you get your lane or no? Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays, all 
told. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Pool from the left side here, and it's complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot here, second and a yard from the 34. And that, Ooh, that was terrible. Absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now a third and six. This is not the explosive offense that I'm used to. Throw. Oh, he dropped it again. Last three games, he's been dropping passes left and right. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. This is brought in at the 21. The 48-yard punt, 7 on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Stroud to the air on first and ten. And Here we go. Aguirre Wilson, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. And Stroud now to throw. And that's incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them humbling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Ooh, almost. Third down, knocked away and incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield and had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Pulled in at the 24. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Pull. Oh, he's going to look downfield for Barkley. Let's go. That's how we do it. <laughs> they got a full team on now. And the Huskies are once again back in front. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. Open man right side is Rice. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. From the 32 yard line now, here's second down and three. On the give, Algier headed left. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So first down, and they'll stick with Algier. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Now second and five. Stroud looking to throw. Let's go. And this is incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. He dropped it. Let's go. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. On first down, pull. And he rifles one incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen 
is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Three catches for him now in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Throwing on first down. Pool. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Here we go. He gets some distance between us. Oh my God. This is going to be a rough Super Bowl. They're definitely not trying to get rid of this game away from first. Kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20 yard line. A lot still to go here in Super Bowl 61. We have reached the end of one quarter of play. We'll be back in just a moment. 10 7 our score. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. And we are back, Super Bowl 61. Thanks for joining us, everybody, nationwide and around the globe as both teams get set to begin the second quarter. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Algier with another carry. And he'll manage to a couple here up to the 25. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing now is Stroud. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Algier going straight. Here we go. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now a handoff to Algier. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Back him up. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Setting up the screen. Here's Algier. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Stroud on third down now. Here we go. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Blake Gillikin on to punt here as he'll send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start on the ground. And oh, my God. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and ten now from the thirty. This is crazy. They'll send Rice in motion. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, but instead a handoff up the middle. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Here's Algier again on second down. Stopped at the twenty-four yard line after a gain of five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well. 
Come on. Yeah, play some defense. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Come on, he is killing you on the outside. Hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Third and goal, Stroud. decent hands out of the backfield that's the first time Charles they targeted him in the passing game and it pays dividends and I love the design too because they kept him in the backfield and made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there and you're right with his hands they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more now comes the kicking team here for the extra point and that makes it 14 10 okay Drive that time of six plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. We gotta, we gotta do something. I don't know what we gotta do, but we gotta figure this out. Negative there of four yards. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game. And continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from Come on, why are you dropping all these passes? To make a different way. Haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? From the 21, it's second and 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the Oh, my God. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third down. Cool. Let's go. Target. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Pool. That's caught by okay. Allen Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. In Washington territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to he needs to stop game. giving him the ball because he's not doing anything with it. For a pickup of two yards. Seventh play of this drive coming up. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14 13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. All right, come on. We can finish this off. On first down, here's Stroud. Throw right side, Wilson. And he is brought yeah. down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Give down here from the shotgun. Oh, well, we got a tackle. 35 before they're able to knock him down. 51 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. They'll give down here out of the gun. And he'll take on the ground. after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. 
gain of three, second down. Stroud. Wilson's going to play. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Stroud now on first and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Stroud to throw it. And his throw oh. is incomplete. Cut. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here goes Stroud again. There you go. It is incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll take the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. They put us on the one-yard line. That's crazy. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this out past the 25. Oh, come on, come on. On first and 10, pull. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. False start. Uh. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. Pool. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So it's halftime here on sports grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We just watched a very good first half out of the Ohio State man, C.J. Stroud. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine and we will not in the have first a run half. Back here as the second half starts with a touchback. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, nice it good to be a little bit tight, made a few errors that normally wouldn't, but of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Now a quick nice catch. throw as that's complete on the hitch route. Five catches for him in that first half, and that... He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll get this one up to about the 30. You got to slide. You got to slide. Four yards there on the first down keeper. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Operating from the gun. Cool. Nice catch. Into the hands of Robinson. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Back to throw. Pool. Quick throw here, that's complete. There you go. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Come on. He's going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Try to keep the drive going here. The 
This is play number seven on third and two. That is close. Nice. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Operating from the gun. Cool. He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Looking to throw. Pool. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. Operating from the gun. Pool. Working the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington 16. from the gun. Pool. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. They've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And it's caught. Touchdown. From three yards out. And the Huskies have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. The offense going to stay on the field as they will line up and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually had two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. First possession of the second half now for Washington. First down, and they'll start with Algier. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 64 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the give, it's Algier. It gets by him and now a little daylight. And another fine run there. This one good for 15. He's come out on a mission here to start this drive. Another first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Stroud. And he's got his big tight end here. And he's got this down to the 35. Here's Algier. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Stroud sets up the play action. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Stroud working out of the gun. That one caught by Rice. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. Here's Stroud. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Okay. 
As Stroud now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Third and goal, a big play in the Super Bowl. The throwing again is Stroud. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has him an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they invented. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point, hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go, and we are tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Back to throw. Pool. He finds his man complete. It's Barnett. It'll go as a gain of four. And it's second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll look to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. On fourth down, pull. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now he'll try to run with this. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And that'll do it for the third quarter of Super Bowl 61. The culmination of the season and the crowning of a champion after the fourth quarter, which is coming up next. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcoming you back to Super Bowl. And no, he lost the football. Stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still come gain yards against us. No way we need to take that one. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up a third down and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Huskies answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. 
You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? The Washington offense set to take over. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Inside the 20. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral it down near the 11-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, Want to play mistake-free football? Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. Andy, you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh. And it's caught. Touchdown. Allen Robinson. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Huskies are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays, picks up the first. Stroud out of the gun here. He finds Wilson, and they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 23 yards, the final tally. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Again, it's Drown. Going right back to Wilson. Pick up of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. They run with Algier. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Stroud's going to try to throw for the conversion. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So unable to throw it in for two. Let's go. We pull it away. Let's, let's finish this game. What changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Washington on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third down and 12. He's got his target, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And that pick up on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And he's got his man on the out route. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Back to throw again. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Operating from the gun. Cool. He finds Robinson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Huskies have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Now Washington down by 15. 2.24 to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45 yard. Let's go. This is how we end the Super Bowl, baby. Charles and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. And his defense here going to burn their second time out. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other 
side is guarded. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team a, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. That is caught. They'll have the first down and more than that. Touchdown, Washington. A big it's okay. It's, we still win. It's all right. It's all right. And the commanders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy win now and come back and try and get it later. Important extra point up and through as this gets them back within a touchdown on a two-point conversion. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. And they just about had to get that recovery to have any chance. They only have one timeout. You look at the clock. Now let's do the math here, Charles. This, this one's pretty much over. Yeah, we do have a chart here, don't we, that tells us about the timeouts. You do. I'm not as smart as you. And, and, and in looking at it, you're exactly right. Chart's not going to help them here at all. They're pretty much done at this stage. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. I know you're looking at the scoreboard clock. We're, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock. Okay, now it's getting it's spooky out. We got to we gotta plan them up. What did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. Stroud to throw it. Open man right side is Rice. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Now Stroud. Pass complete at Scott. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Here comes second down at five. This game was wrapped up and then he fumbled. I don't know what Stroud. happened. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. And at 50 seconds left, he'll spike it to stop the clock. The clock stopped. 50 seconds to play. Second and 10. Here's Stroud. That's how you do it. Let's finish this. But what a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Here's Stroud. Oh, my God. What is this game right now? They're gonna try and run for him. Nope. But he is not gonna get in. They stop him short. And that defensive play may have just clinched up a Super Bowl title. Oh my god, what was this game? Team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. 
I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. That was a hell of a game. I don't know what we were doing. Like, we pulled it out somehow, some way. Let's build up that line. Give me another three years. Let's go. Thank you. 
All right, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Right, we're gonna go to the um we're gonna go to the free agency and then we're gonna leave it there. Sorry.
Stefan Gilmore. He fumbled three times, which is crazy. Okay, so we gotta we gotta look at realistically trying to get Davies. Trying to get Davies. And we trying to get Wilcox. Trying to get Casey. Trying to get Matthew. That's what our board is looking Eagle Sessions, what we trying to trade? Trade into those, baby. Oh, my offensive end. Cover three.
Allez, je... Any set?
have it right back on. Even considering my offer, Into the Ravens, ah, uh, can't blame him, can't blame him.
funny and kind of okay. I bet. So now we can go we can go and get our DT. Now. Oh, wait. Alright, cool. I bet it is. How does it happen? I have that room.
already know he. All right, here we go. What are you doing instead of studying? <laughs> yeah, I'm going direction. That's, I should tell you something. The people in the Discord might not be very good. Catch. I wish I lost. Hey, Rexy. Ooh. Hey, this is a steal. This is a steal. No one don't even know it yet. But you. Okay. Okay. Like it. <laughs> exactly. 
Does it does Princess even have a ring? Oh yeah, I definitely got to draft him in the Okay. That's not terrible. That's that's not terrible. Not bad either. Okay. Kevin Colbert, just in case, built in a back. All right, let's do this. Let's do this draft real quick, and then we we leave it there. I was gonna leave it at free agency, but I got excited. The Philadelphia Eagles on the clock now. The Huskies are now on the clock. On the clock now, the Detroit Lions. Okay, so we got our DT at a few. The Bengals now on the clock. It's now the Vikings turn. Who the Vikings picked up since I took it. The 49ers on Take the clock up. now. The Denver Broncos are now on the clock. It's the Carolina Panthers now on the clock. It's the Bears now on the clock. And if anyone picks up my player. On the clock, the Rams. Next up, the Jets are on the clock. With the next pick, the Kansas City Chiefs are now on the clock. With the next selection, the Ravens are on the clock. The linebackers off the four. The Colts now on the Second quarterback. The Chargers are up now. They're on the clock. The Seattle Seahawks are now on the clock. We had the halfway mark. On the clock now. The, the backup, Selby. Jaguars. They didn't take Colbert yet. It's the Dallas Cowboys now on the clock. 
The Miami Dolphins. Oof. I thought they were going to take my player. No, they took Swain. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Oof. Boss game. Still good. We still. The New York Giants are now on the clock. The Cardinals on the clock now. Next up, the Patriots are on the clock. On the clock now, it's the Green Bay Packers. The Tennessee Titans are now on the clock. With the next selection, the Saints are on the clock. They're taking a lot of defensive players first. On the clock now, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Next up, the Cleveland Browns are on the clock. The Buffalo Bills are now on the clock. The Atlanta Falcons are now on the clock. Now on the clock, the Washington Commanders. The Houston Texans are now Just on turn the it, clock. Okay. My play is still alive. Up next, the Philadelphia Eagles are on the clock. Now on the clock, the Texans. With the next selection, the Lions are on the clock. Next they took my tackle. Cincinnati Bengals are on That's not the good. Clock. I needed a right tackle. The Minnesota Vikings are now on the clock. Now on the clock, the San Francisco 49ers. On the clock now, it's the Denver Broncos. With the next selection, the Carolina Panthers. On the clock. On the clock now, the Chicago Bears. On the clock now, the Los Angeles Rams. The New York Jets are now on the clock. The Kansas City Chiefs now Ooh. on the clock. Think of the right outcome. The Baltimore Ravens Obviously. are on the clock now. The Huskies are now on the clock. Hey, let's go. Let's go pick up our linebacker. The Los Angeles Chargers now on the clock. Next up, it's the Seahawks on the clock. On the clock now, the Dallas Cowboys. It's the Steelers now on the clock. Now on the clock, it's the 49ers. And now on the clock, it's the Arizona Cardinals. It's the New England Patriots now on the clock. The Green Bay Packers are now on the clock. On the clock now, it's the Tennessee Titans. On the clock now, the Houston Texans. Okay, guys, the Cleveland Browns. Washington, are Washington goes back to back. That's crazy. On the clock now, the Buffalo Bills.
It's the Atlanta Falcons now on the clock. With the next selection, it's the Washington Commanders. I am back. Did they take my player? The Washington Commanders are now on the clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, where we at? It's the Philadelphia Eagles now on the clock. The Detroit Lions now on the clock. With the next selection, the Cincinnati Bengals okay. Okay. Are on the clock. It's now the San Francisco 49ers pick. They're up. The Denver Broncos are on the clock. The Panthers are on the clock. The Chicago Bears are now on the clock. The Los Angeles Rams now on the clock. With the next selection, the New York Jets. On the clock now, the Kansas City Chiefs. On the clock now, the Baltimore Ravens. The Huskies. All right, so we can pick up. We we got the people that we wanted. Uh, got the people that we need. Now on the clock, the Los Angeles Chargers. The Huskies are now on the clock. By one to trade with us? That's crazy. Now we turn to the Eagles. They're on the clock. Take them a fullback. Huskies are now on the clock. There has been a trade. The Huskies are now on the clock. Exactly. Let's see if our right tackle was a star or not. But agile and everything.
Okay, so we upgraded, upgraded at uh, linebacker. That's our town linebacker. That's our linebacker. Back up. Right. It'll be a dynamic duo in the middle. Let's go. That's what I like to see. All right, so I'm gonna leave this here. I want to thank everyone who's watching, everyone who was lurking. I want to thank. Um, I want to give a, shout, a special shout out. No, I want to thank everyone who's watching. I want to thank everyone who lurking. I want to watch. I, I want to thank everyone who watches it on. Twitch and everyone who watches this on YouTube, especially the people who watch this on YouTube, I appreciate you. Um, because I'm I'm trying to build up that platform now. Um, I want to give a special shout out to Arth and Arth for coming through. I appreciate you. 
Um, good luck with all your endeavors. Um, I want to give a shout out to the illustrious silver haired goddess, Miss Lady ish, coming through, chatting with me, finding for me. I appreciate you. Um, like I said, I'm gonna leave this here. Leave this here, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.